1935. After years of drought and dust, the land was now being destroyed by another kind of plague. Hundreds of thousands of starving jackrabbits came down from the hills, devouring everything in their path. Dust bowlers were forced to begin an extermination campaign. Almost every Sunday, people gathered to take part in rabbit drives. When we first came over the hill there on this one drive, there were a big line of us. It just looked like the country below us just, just all began to move. It looked like a herd of sheep, but it was jackrabbits. The first rabbit drive that I ever witnessed was with shotguns. But that was kind of dangerous, so then they decided later that they'd have some more of these rabbit drives and would just use clubs. So they would form lines of people, and these lines of people would march down through that country and come together and funnel these rabbits into those pens. And any that tried to get back by you, which would be a lot of them, why you were supposed to knock them in the head with a club as they came by. And then after they got them all in these pens, why the young fellows would get in those pens with these clubs, which was like an old ax handle or something like this, and, and just club them to death. I can imagine, you know, what the Humane Society would say about that now. Whew. You could hear the rabbits screaming, you know? That's what was scary to me. I think that sound affected everyone. I know it sounded terrible to me as a little girl. And I, you know, I thought, I'd think, sounds like a, a baby crying or squealing or, you know, being hurt. It was really sad. And then this dirt storm was coming in at that time. But it was starting to get dark. And, you know, some people felt that was the wrath of God coming up on them when they'd kill these rabbits like this. April 14th, 1935, was the worst day of them all. The day no dust bowler would forget. The day they would call Black Sunday. Everybody tried to get out of there. Everybody was scrambling to get out to their vehicles and find their families. It looked real black as it came in, just big old rolls just coming in. As the dark clouds approached, there was an ominous silence. Minutes later, the stillness was shattered by thousands of birds fleeing before the avalanche of dirt. 